Yeah, I think one of the biggest lies we're told is that success will make you happy. Yes. And I feel like if you told this to me before, it wouldn't make sense. But now it's almost like it, it only makes sense. That mm-hmm. obviously it doesn't make you happy. Like it is, it's like a thing that just stimulates you. Like yeah. whether it's success, like you got the money or the job or like mm-hmm. the whatever you define as success, like in terms of like achieving something like a thing, like a win, right? A good test grade. Yeah. To me, like it makes so much sense now that like you can't like say that will make you happy. You have to really look at the hours of the day. Like how do you mm-hmm. feel? on a 24 hour basis it's not yeah. like you got the thing and now you're just feeling happy all the time right mm-hmm. it's often not even correlated to the thing which is why and you hear all those like things like oh yeah broke people are happy rich people are sad like mm-hmm. you hear those like dynamics play out and people kind of look over it, like yeah you, they'll say like oh you still need to make money that's just obvious yeah. right that's not mm-hmm. what we're saying here but yeah. it's not like like as someone like you i think everyone has achieved things in life at some mm-hmm. point if you're on some kind of journey it doesn't have to be like some big success like you probably mm-hmm. achieved like things along the way and they get you get used to them very quick. Yeah, and I think that like with the whole reputation thing, if your success is based on your reputation and based on the way that other people will see your success, then you won't be happy because you'll always be striving for something and you'll never truly be successful because even, you know, the president of the United States or the most rich person in the world, they're criticized by everyone, right? Or there are so many successful people like big doctors, big lawyers who make millions of dollars every year. And, and they, they will never, never smile, smile right? right? And, and it's because, because they've worked based on the success that everyone else has told them to achieve, achieve right? right? It's so like, like, I want to be a millionaire because I want to be able to be seen as a millionaire or because this person said that's what it takes to be successful. But I think the happiest people are the people who have formed their own definitions of success based on their life experience. And I think it's a very rare thing that you see nowadays where people can actually form their own, like, idea of success even like with college i think it's a really great example everyone's like i want to go to the school because that's where everyone goes who's smart right all the greatest minds have gone to princeton or whatever but people who can pave their own path and say this is how i'm going to be successful this is how i'm going to plant my feet in the sand and be a person when you achieve that of course you'll be happy because you did it for yourself you didn't do it for anyone else yeah that's why i love so sometimes read stories about masters who kind of master this art of paving your own path as well mm-hmm. and i think we don't really read a lot about like a lot of some people do i don't personally don't read a lot about like autobiographies things like that but i recently read like a story from albert einstein right mm-hmm. a little bit into his life it was very short but it's more that he he kind of like was a pretty shitty student you know he he didn't do well and then he kind of learned very on that he hated the whole academic process of like learning in this way and it's very like structured method and he hated it and he just completely ran away from it it's like mm-hmm. I'm not, well, well, most of the mathematicians or scientists of his time might have been trying to just be seen successful through the lens of others. He's like, I don't give a fuck about any of this. I'm going to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. And he's seen as a failure for a long time because all he would do is like, he had a pretty like low level job, but he would spend all of his time like on his own thought problems. Mm-hmm. And he spent 10 years thinking about this one problem and it yeah. ended up being like the relatively thing that changed the whole way we look at everything, right? Mm-hmm. And you can tell that in him, he's fulfilled, right? Because all the hours of the day, he's doing what he loves. And he created his own definition of success. And it's very clear because obviously everyone sees him as someone who was different and who was doing something differently, right? It's obvious that he wasn't looking for like others' reputation, right? Mm-hmm. And I think if we can incorporate that into our own life, that, you know, people who just kind of go on autopilot and just follow the social norms and fulfill the social norms are often very unhappy. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I'm young, right? I'm 16 years old and I have no idea what the world looks like outside of high school, Right. But I think based on what I've seen, a fair assessment is that the world is lacking so much passion, right? And that so much of what people do lacks all love, lacks all real desire for what they're doing. Like they're just doing it to do it, right? And even like you see that at Petty, you see that in most high schools where it's just monotonous and it's do this, do that, just make these small steps that people are telling you to take. And there's very little opportunity to pave your own path, right? But I think as a whole the most successful people in my eyes and the most happy people are the people who like you said are able to stray away from the status quo and be like well this is what i want to do right and this is what i'm passionate about and even if being this means i won't get as much money i will still do it and i'll love it and i'll have a nice happy family who i'll raise the way that i want to raise and that is where my definition of success is in. If you enjoyed that segment with Connor Palzak, then you're going to love the full one and a half hour length podcast that I filmed with him. 
Hit the link in the description now to see the full length podcast.